In this video, I'm going to talk about how to make sure that Visual Studio is connected to Unity, and we're going to do a quick little code test to make sure that they are talking to one another. Now, you've installed Unity, you've installed Visual Studio, but you want to make sure that they're both connected to one another. So what I've done here is I just made a 2D game so that I have something to work with here. Now, I'm going to go under the Edit drop-down menu, and there's a Preferences section. Now under preferences, yours may not actually default to this, but what you're looking for is a section called external tools. And you're going to see right at the top here, it has an option for the external script editor. Now, depending on actually what type of IDEs you have, notice that I do have Visual Studio here. So I can go ahead and change over for my external editor. If you don't attach the external editor to your project, what's going to happen is it's going to try to find something that best fits, or you're gonna get pop-ups that ask you what program would you like to open this file with. So I set this to Visual Studio 2022. So outside of that though, just to point out, you may see some errors down here as far as Android is concerned. Again, whenever I installed my version of Unity, I actually skipped over the Android installations. So that's why I'm getting errors there. If you also skipped over it, don't panic. It's just there because you didn't have the actual tools installed. All right, so let's go ahead and X out. Normally what's gonna happen in Unity is you are going to generate a C-sharp file and then you're gonna double click and wanna edit it. So what I'm gonna do is down in this assets panel, if you made a brand new project, the only thing you should see here is a scenes folder. So in the gray area, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna tell it to create. And right at the top here, I have a C-sharp script option. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And we're gonna do the age old hello world. When you generate a C-sharp file inside of Unity, what happens is, is you can actually see a preview of it over here in what we call the inspector. For more information on this, I do have a video that talks about the general UI of Unity. But the big thing you wanna test, now that you've gone up under Edit and Preferences and Set as far as Visual Studio, is you should be able to double click on this. And as you can see, Visual Studio is opening for me. So it's going to load this specific file. I'm gonna tell it allow. And here is the C-sharp file that uh, Unity generated for us. This, again, isn't about learning C-sharp in this video. It's just making sure that everything has connected. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under the void update because I want to see this uh, information just repeat itself. And between the curly braces, all I'm going to type is debug.log, open parenthesis, put in quotation marks, say hello world, and then I'm gonna do a control S to save. Now, from a workflow standpoint, it's up to you. I've had folks that prefer they just come and X out and reopen Visual Studio every single time. Honestly though, from my personal workflow, I'll either shrink down or I'll be alt tabbing between the workflow here. And the one thing that I wanna show you though is keeping this highlighted in Unity, you can see in the background now in that inspector, how it updated whenever I saved the file here. So now the last thing that I need to do is just attach the file into something in the overall set sample scene. So to do that, I'm actually, for time's sake, in the hierarchy, I'm going to click and drag hello world, and just drop it on the main camera in the scene here. And then from there, I'm gonna go up and I am going to hit the play button here. Unity is going to think for a second. And now if I pop over into this console tab, you can see that my debug is repeating numerous times here. But what this tells me is I now have the connection between Visual Studio and Unity and I can continue working on my projects.